New at 630, Gibson recently announced they're selling two of their properties in the North Gulch. The company is cashing in on the development of Nashville and they're letting go of two buildings that they underutilize. News Channel 5's Jesse Knutson has a look at the buildings that had big plans that never came to life. The look of a Les Paul is iconic, but the sound of a Les Paul is what made the instrument legendary. That's a variation that Joe Bonamassa put together. For over 100 years, Gibson has been making guitars, mandolins, and banjos. More flying Vs through the years. And about 15 years ago, Gibson tried their hand in real estate with a bang. With the drop of a Baldwin piano in 2002, the company marked the opening of two new retail stores in Music City, a Gibson shop on Church Street, and the largest piano store in the world just a block away on Grundy. Henry Jeskowitz's vision was correct that that, that would be a developing area. Uh, he was probably just a little ahead of the curve. Walter Carter of Carter Vintage Guitars has been selling Gibsons for decades and even worked at Gibson in the editorial department and as a historian. And he said while there were big plans for these buildings, they never came to be. Fourth floor, I don't believe, was ever developed. The original plan was to have retail shops in each building, a repair shop in the bottom floor of the Church Street building, and even a live music venue. But throughout the years, plans changed. Then it became the home of Valley Arts Guitars, which Gibson had purchased. Now the Grundy building is a Gibson warehouse and the Church Street building houses repairs. But soon, both buildings will be repurposed. With all of the growth in Nashville, Gibson may have decided that it was a good time to sell. Both properties are up on the market, looking to fetch millions of dollars just weeks after the company's credit rating was downgraded. According to a statement from Gibson, the company believes the buildings are currently underutilized and the company would rather reinvest the money they make from selling the properties. The guitar part of the company is doing well, at least uh, for the ones that we sell here. Regardless of whether Gibson has buildings in the North Gulch or not, the instruments they make have solidified Gibson's place in Music City forever. In Nashville, Jesse Knutson, News Channel 5. At this time, the buildings are up for sale, but they haven't been purchased, so it's still not clear what will become of those properties.